We're alive. Yeah. So? 20 seconds, something. They have to delay. So, hi, everyone. Uh, we're back again with another amazing webinar today from International Association of Dental Students. This is Sean, your ISO. Uh, today, we have uh, Professor Andre Ak Akolovich from uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. He's going to introduce us a very uh, nice uh, topic about clinical approach to remineralizing therapy in contemporary dentistry. It's an absolute uh, favorite topic of myself, and I know it's yours as well. And uh, so I will not waste time anymore, and I am sorry for the delay. We had some minor technical issues which are solved. So we will go straight to Professor Akulovich from Russia uh, to begin. Professor, please. Uh, thank you uh, for invitation. Uh, it's very proud for me. It's a very interesting experience for me. Uh, did you hear me? Okay, I'm started. Yes, uh, the topic of uh, the topic of my uh, short presentation is uh, clinical approach to remineralizing therapy in contemporary dentistry. I'm from Saint Petersburg, Russia. I'm a professor of uh, Tver State Medical Academy. Uh, PhD, uh, clinical director of Brand Rocks, it's our famous uh, manufacturer uh, for oral hygiene uh, devices, uh, and I'm chief doctor of Denticure Dental Clinic in St. Petersburg. Uh, my clinic is specialized, uh, specialized on uh, color and dentistry, many, many techniques for teeth bleaching, uh, white and brown spot removing uh, we actively used uh, remineralizing therapy we actively used the uh, uh, icon infiltration microabrasion and other techniques i'm president of the society for study of color and dentistry and a uh, member of uh, few uh, few society uh, international society for uh, my uh, topics aesthetic dentistry and the color and dentistry Demineralization is a uh, very actual problem. Relevance of the problem, the loss of the mineral constituent of teeth is a very common clinical situation. This process uh, is called uh, demineralization. Uh, mineralization and demineralization, this process continues inside enamel and infinitum. Uh, what the mechanism of demineralization? Uh, the original phosphates, uh, phosphate ions in enamel crystal matrix are replaced by the less durable carbonite ions. Recovery of the enamel uh, lost mineral is uh, constituted. Uh, what the causes of uh, demineralization or decalcification? Decalcification. The first uh, causes is systematic. Uh, for example, hormonal dysfunction, dietary interruption in mineral metabolism, uh, some types of somatic dysfunction, and uh, hypoplasia, uh, process of hypoplasia in hard dental tissue, or uh, we use now a more uh, modern term, uh, molar incisor hypomineralization. And the uh, uh, next uh, uh, group of causes is local, is uh, more actual for, for my mind. For example, treatment of the surface of the teeth with acid is a dental appointment, our routine procedure and clinic. Orthodontic treatment using a brace system and uh, some techniques for removing white and brown spots on dental enamel. For example, a uh, more aggressive technique is microabrasion and the uh, icon. But the most common causes of demineralization are alimentary, food related. We used many, many uh, food acids. And uh, for this slide, uh, you, you can see acidity of various popular beverages. 
what the clinical manifestation of demineralization? Uh, the first is a worsening of the teeth appearance. Uh, the second is a hypersensitivity of higher dental tissue is uh, uh, is compared with uh, uh, demineralization. And uh, if the process we uh, we not stop, uh, we uh, will the carious lesion. The Lawrence Walsh from Australia and uh, his uh, very very uh, good definition of remineralization. Remineralization is a, a physiological process of restoring areas affected by non cavitous lesion of the enamel using calcium and phosphate ions, as a result of which the remains of the enamel crystal matrix then have previously been affected by demineralization are restored. Uh, this is uh, also an opinion that the newly formed crystal, which are artificially created as a result of remineralization, are uh, even less soluble when it comes to further acid attack when compared to the native or original crystals. It's more important fact. It's new facts. Uh, diagnosis. Diagnostics uh, is a uh, very, very big problem for clinic. It's not a problem for a uh, scientist, but in clinic, uh, many scientific uh, methods is not available. Uh, with uh, what recommended, uh, what recommended, for example, uh, coloration using uh, methylene blue, diagnodent. Uh, and uh, we have uh, many uh, scientific, uh, good modern uh, methods for uh, diagnostic in din dynamic. For example, uh, which methodic is good? Optical coherence tomography and uh, QLF is a quantitative light induced fluorescence. But in clinic, but in clinic, I like use the uh, photographs. I take the picture before and after uh, treatment, before and after remineralizing therapy, and I uh, very good uh, the C uh, C results, and I very very recommended used one uh, successful design uh, successful devices is a, a polarized fil filter. Polarized filter uh, protocol is recommended when we are uh, working with uh, white spot, uh, when we are working uh, uh, with uh, some uh, enamel lesion. And uh, now we show them better uh, in dynamic uh, white spot before and after treatment, before and after remineralizing therapy, before and after icon, before and after microabrasion, for example. Uh, then I used uh, polarized filter. The name of Polar Ice is a very popular model. You can see uh, Polar Ice on, on a slide. Uh, what are the important ways to restore mineral uh, contents of teeth? The first and second is a calcium and phosphatus. And the third place, I say uh, magnesium, because magnesium uh, activates uh, calcium and phosphates. And uh, as additional uh, components, fluorides and xylitol. But more important, calcium and phosphates. <coughs> we have a, a very, very important physiological remineralization mechanism is that the saliva. Or oral fluid, and uh, re uh, replenished lost minerals up to a certain level of demineralization. Uh, imbalance, imbalance in a quantitative or qualitative makeup of saliva demineralization that is impossible for saliva repair. Both required the use of additional means of mineral deficit correction. Oral fluids has a remineralization effects. Uh, which uh, function of the buffer solution is automatically a uh, lower pH. Saturates the enamel with mineral from the saliva itself. Mechanically cleans the surface. And uh, 
two groups of proteins uh, glycoproteins uh, is that a form a layer that protect from from acid around the surface of enamel and phosph phosphoproteins is uh, is a group promote the diffusion of calcium from the saliva into the enamel mm. good life hack uh, if you uh, provide uh, remineralization uh, syrup at the patient, uh, I recommend that regular use of chewing gum by patient. Throughout the remineralization syrup, significantly strengthens the effects of the syrup by activated uh, by activating secretion of saliva. <clears throat> and we have uh, two moments uh, if we recommend that uh, chewing gum. Uh, not contain sugar and optimally that uh, contain xylitol. One more life hack. Uh, smoking inhibits saliva mineralization function. Uh, when I uh, when I treat the patient with, uh, uh, with when I uh, treat the smoker's patient, I uh, recommended. Uh, uh, two applications per day of uh, remineralization gel. If, if my patient is not smoker, uh, I do one application. It's an important fact. What we have? Uh, what, uh, what we have in market? The first uh, popular components of the uh, remineralization uh, uh, gels is uh, ACP, amorphous calcium phosphates. ACP uh, was manufacturer for a company who provides bleaching system, uh, Discus Dental, Zoom brand, and this is a technical pre predecessor to hydroxyapatite crystals, the structural unit of hard dental tissue. Uh, what the interesting moment about amorphous calcium phosphate? Uh, the first affects only the first the, the surface, uh, superficial. Undergrowth uh, hydrolysis and only active in alkaline uh, environment, not affecting and restoring white spots. Uh, lowers the porosity of enamel and ensures a decrease in sensitivity. The sensitivity uh, active uh, activity of uh, ACP uh, is uh, important, but ACP is uh, not active in a uh, remineralization process. The next one, ACP, ACP, uh, or uh, uh, casein phosphopeptide and the amorphous calcium phosphate. Commercial name, Recaldent. It's a very popular GC to smooth from Japan. Uh, one important fact, uh, manufacturer uh, warned of a possible allergic reaction to cow milk's protein when using uh, CCP-based products. Be careful. What about recall dent? Uh, works at any pH level, deep action, very good results uh, with a white spot, uh, effective against caries, stop caries, and uh, remineralization effects is good and in slowly. Beta tricalcium phosphate, TCP. Uh, relatively expensive and not a widely application now. Uh, often used uh, as a food supplement, and uh, uh, now TCP. Now TCP uh, in the industry actively used in uh, some uh, regeneration bone tissue materials. Uh, for example, bioresorbs, cyrosorbs, and very very active uh, and popular uh, components is at the bioglass, bioactive glass, or calcium phosphosilicate or uh, very known uh, as name Novamin. Novamin now is very popular. It's a basis of uh, some toothpaste, some gels, and other. What about Novamin? Novamin effective for dealing with hypersensitivity. Yes, sure, absolutely. 
uh, but in the in remineralization is not active. The main ingredients is uh, silicon, uh, no uh, phosphate, no calcium, but uh, silicon is uh, mainly uh, main ingredients. Remineralization effects is very thin because they uh, low calcium and phosphate content. Uh, and uh, compensate very few lost minerals. That uh, if we see the two spaced with novamine, uh, we we understand that is uh, very good for hypersensitivity. Is uh, low uh, uh, low active for uh, remineralization. And what about uh, hydroxyapatite? The primary effects is desensitization. Remineralization is secondary. Uh, hydroxyapatite is the logic. Uh, we have a loss of minerals. Uh, why we don't use uh, hydroxyapatite? Uh, but hydroxyapatite have a, a very, very big uh, molecular mass for uh, good penetration to enamel. Uh, good penetration to enamel uh, have hydroxyapatite in a special form, nano hydroxyapatite. And we now uh, have a uh, few to spest with nanohydroxyapatite. Apodent, Megasonics, Prevident. And uh, one important fact, two space for hydroxy uh, with hydroxyapatite, uh, not active for uh, remineralization therapy, but very good uh, for desensitization. Uh, we have uh, our... Uh, Toothpaste, manufactured in Russia, is our brand Rox, with nanohydroxyapatite. Uh, is the instant relief Rox sensitive. This toothpaste uh, precludes high sensitivity of teeth, absolutely doesn't traumatize the dentin, uh, and uh, this toothpaste uh, have a low abr abrasiveness, RDA approximately 40. Uh, it's uh, lower than uh, other to space and effective protecting for carriers. What about fluorides? Uh, fluorides is a, uh, a special uh, component for uh, remineralization. Not indirect effect, does not inherently process to mineral replacement effect. Fluoride's effectiveness, uh, effectiveness uh, the first strengthening the hydroxyapatite structure, obturation of dental canaliculi after potassium in a step-by-step -step solution to resolve the problem of hypersensitivity. Yes, the role of uh, the role of fluorides in remineralization, uh, the uh, remineralization of enamel, is important. The first inhibit the demineralization process in hydroxyapatite crystal make the surface of hydroxyapatite crystal resistance to acid and inhibit bacterial enzymes, but only when present in a high concentration. High concentration is a 5000 ppm, not concentration in a uh, usual uh, to space, approximately 100 ppm, 100 uh, and, and other. Uh, just in uh, 5 uh, 100 ppms and more but in russia uh, 500 ppm uh, for uh, fluorides is limit but is this enough role of uh, role of magnesium magnesium role is very important is uh, the presence of magnesium progressively increase the presence of element needed to hard tissue calcium and phosphates uh, magnesium chloride or magnesium sulfate activate the uh, alkaline uh, phosphatase and during the saliva mineralization mineralization fun function. Moreover, magnesium uh, chloride and magnesium sulfates can directly affect uh, bio mineralization by changing the size of oriental, uh, orientation of enamel hydroxyapatite crystals. The role of magnesium uh, of magnesium is very very important in. Uh, some uh, remineralization gel. The most clinically effective and logically justified method for uh, replenishing of the mineral deficit in hard dental tissue is remineralization therapy with mineral complex. It's a simple, is it a cheap, is it a uh, user for patients uh, yourself? 
Mineral complex. The methods make it possible for the patients to perform application at home by themselves. But uh, it's very important facts just in kappa, cap, in tray. This is tray like a tray for teeth bleaching. Absolutely the same. Which clinical effects we wait? from mineral complex. The first restores the mineral saturation of teeth, which increase resistance to caries. Improves the appearance of teeth, color and shine without uh, restoring to whiten teeth. And lower, uh, uh, lower sensitivity of teeth. Three effects. About different nosology. Initial form for caries in a caries of uh, white spot stage or pigmented spot stage. Uh, in this situation, Remus therapy is effective approximately 100% every. The second situation, when we have a, uh, when we, uh, uh, a low effectiveness of remineralization, this is a superficial caries. Uh, when we have a, a lesion of enamel, in this situation, remotherapy can only be sufficient when the wall affected area is completely accessible, uh, as well as when there are a, a lack in pronounced deformation of enamel as a surface. If we have uh, a surface uh, defects, Remineralization therapy is not effective. Hyperplasia, enamel hyperplasia. Uh, the remineralization effective just in one form, the spotted form. If we have eroded form and mixed form, linear form, uh, remineralization therapy is not effective. Fluorosis. Now we uh, use the combined technique if we have a patient with sclerosis, if patient with sclerosis come to my clinic. At the first time, at the first stage, uh, we are doing microabrasion and the very important second stage in fluorosis treatment is remineralizing, uh, remineralizing therapy. It's so long, approximately uh, maybe one hour, maybe one year, maybe one year, sorry few months usually every day but uh, we uh, can uh, do in a good result but we can use uh, just remineralization gel for treatment fluorosis no problem it's your choice demineralization after orthodontic treatment using a brace in this situation uh, we uh used combined technique too uh, we used the icon or micro abrasion and then we used demineralization for good and shiny results remineralization therapy can be used a uh, uh, separate method for correction white spot of enamel as well as a, uh, as a step of more complex approach together with micro abrasion of icon i recommend it used remineralizing uh, like a step in this uh, clinical situation. Now in clinic, we uh, successfully combined of icon and remineralization therapy uh, after membrane removed. It's good for shiny and good for uh, color stable. The first stage icon and after of uh, icon, I uh, recommended a course of remineralization, remineralizing therapy for a good result. The next situation when we recommended uh, remineralization after aggressive teeth uh, bleaching technique, uh, teeth discoloration technique, for example, microabrasion. Microabrasion is very aggressive, and uh, after micro. Uh, after microabrasion, we strictly use the uh, remineralization uh, therapy, strictly, for one month, appro approximately. 
immediately after procedure of microabrasion, immediately in this day. Microabrasion is at a higher loss of hard dental tissue. Please remember this. My based algorithm for carry out of remineralizing therapy. The first is that initial therapy is minimal therapy. Minimal therapy is uh, uh, two weeks. And uh, I have a second algorithm is uh, one month. One month is optimum. One application per day. Application after uh, this brushing, just in tray. Uh, the next, if uh, I not see the effects, uh, the further therapy is meaningless. If there are notable effects, the therapy is continued without breaks until the result is satisfactory. Two ways we have after the initial or optimum therapy. After it is bleaching procedure and clinic, the first situation, if it color is an even. I see the spots, strips, and other. I the, I do the REMA therapy uh, two or four weeks, and I use uh, rocks mineral, uh, rocks medical minerals, the green one. If the case of any pain or discomfort or sensitivity, I use the uh, rock sensitive medical with uh, potassium nitrate. Is uh, the uh, purple one? The purple is a uh, uh, remineralizing and uh, uh, this sensitivity removed two ways. If I do this bleaching and I see uh, an open uh, color, if I see some spots, some strips, uh, I recommend it to my patient uh, strictly in this day, immediately uh, studied the Rema therapy. And when I wait, when patient uh, back to clinic to uh, control uh, uh, to control fixing and uh, started the home bleaching, uh, usually uh, after two weeks after uh, clinical bleaching, uh, we have a, a good result and the color more stable. Every day one uh, application for 40 minutes rocks medical minerals in tray uh, we have uh, some uh, mineral complexes uh, and the uh, most popular now is it uh, rocks medical minerals uh, rocks medical minerals uh, now very very spreading uh, around the world uh, approximately uh, 45 countries uh, have on your market now rocks medical minerals uh, is it a uh, highly assimilate source of calcium phosphates and magnesium and transformation of stable membrane after applying onto the surface of teeth the gel and surface of graded penetration of active ingredients incidental tissue no fluoride no fluoride just calcium uh, just phosphate just magnesium just xylitol uh what the application how we use this uh, brush the teeth apply the gel strictly using our individual or uh, or standard tray and the duration of application approximately uh 50 30 minutes one half is very good do not rinse mouth at the end of uh, application and uh, refrain from eating for uh 40 15 minutes in this slide, you see application methods is very simple. So my algorithms for invasive removal uh, of dental discoloration now in my clinic, uh, the first clinical bleaching, the second stage at home bleaching after uh, two, three weeks uh, after uh, clinical bleaching, and then uh, strictly remineralizing therapy. Uh, and two, two situation. The first way, if I have, if patient have hypersensitivity, or if patient no have hypersensitivity, just an even color, uh, and I used or green or purple uh, 
Rox Medical. And then course of uh, courses of supporting therapy is a, a whitening bleaching to space two times per year. We have uh, uh, many uh, two spaces for with uh, bleaching effects. Rocks manufacturer, Rocks uh, blank wears white into space. It's a very good paste. It's very popular. We have two uh, modern designed Rocks magic whitening of Rocks sensation whitening to space. And uh, we have my favorite to space is a uh, uh, white into space for maintaining the result of clinical anti discoloration procedure. Rocks sensitive uh, with three effects. First, brightening, remineralizing, and the live inside hypersensitivity. The active, uh, the active components of uh, all rocks uh, widening to space is that, uh, the first enzyme and the second mineral complexes. It is very good uh, work. And we have uh, the line of uh, professional bleaching to space. One to space is oxy white, uh, peroxide contains uh, contain compounds, and uh, uh, this whitening delicate, the green one, uh, with uh, with low RDA. Uh, we have we recommended the patients uh, combine these two space. The, uh, for example, I recommended at the morning use the peroxide past. Uh, peroxide paste and uh, yeah, evening uh, use the uh, enzyme green one to space for a good result. It's a logic result. And now we have a new product. It's a rocks shine enamel. Is special transparent gel uh, that shall be used. The addition to normal to space is not instead the to space is additional form after uh, this brushing and. Uh, for uh, and uh, uh, the end, uh, these uh, have a very, very good shiny. Remineralizing therapy, one of uh, necessary effects, one of uh, very uh, good addition effects is improve the teeth at our appearance no, and lower sensitivity. Remotherapy is a method of aesthetic correction of the teeth outward appearance for adults. It's a logical alternative to whitening for teenage, teenagers, for example. We have many, many scientific research uh, about uh, effectiveness, effectiveness of uh, uh, mineral gels uh, for uh, teeth shiny, for uh, reduced sensitivity. Many, many results, many, many scientific research. I don't have a time for uh, concrete this. <clears throat> but if we have a remineralizing therapy after this bleaching, for example, the first, the result of this bleaching will be stable. And the second one, the hypersensitivity uh, will reduce. Classic gel for remineralizing therapy, Rox Medical. Just uh, mineral components and the xylitol. And the second one, rocks medical sensitive, is that a gel when we have a, a sensitive components. Uh, this gel contain a mineral complex, xylitol, and potassium nitrate. So now we have a, a, some non invasive dental discoloration removal option when I use in clinic. We use uh, icon is more deep situation uh, situation with more deep white spots we have a micro abrasion is less is more superficial we have a clinical bleaching and uh, we have very very superficial techniques is remineralizing therapy for example situation with fluorosis uh, with uh, white, uh, brown spots on uh, the uh, 2Ds. And now we use the Apolaster, is uh, very popular microabrasion components, uh, devices, gel for 
uh, microabrasion from ultra ultra dent company and then and then uh, you see a situation on a uh, 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 immediately after procedure and then uh, at the bottom then after 30 days of remineralizing syrup once a day uh, in tray for 30 minutes using very very good results and the result is stable this case uh, is combination of minimally invasive procedure microabrasion plus remus therapy this situation immediately after uh microabrasion and next slide plus 45 days application of rocks medical minerals very good result white spot in our enamel demineralization we strictly combined of minimally invasive procedure microabrasion of rheumatherapy immediately after procedure and uh, plus uh, remineralization therapy so it's my uh, ready solution for uh, this uh, for uh, enamel remineralization First situation, is there I increase the sensitivity of hard dental tissue immediately after uh, procedure, uh, after pro pro professional dental cleaning uh, in, in clinics, uh, for example, air floor. The treatment plan is apply the rocks medical sensitive gel immediately after the air flow procedure at the dental uh, office in, in in my clinic for uh, 20 30 minutes if the uh, symptoms persist uh, 24 hours after procedure uh, prescribe the rocks medical sensitive gel with uh, potassium nitrate for uh, 40 days for, for two weeks of daily use once per day the next situation is there an increase in sensitivity of hard dental tissue immediately after uh, teeth bleaching? Now, my treatment plan. Apply the ROX medical sensitive gel immediately after procedure at the uh, dental chair uh, for uh, 20 30 minutes. The following two applications are to be done to patients in uh, their own at home within 20 hours, 24 hours after the procedure once in the morning once in the evening after brushing the teeth and we use the uh, uh, tray strictly if the symptoms uh, of hypersensitivity persist uh, more than uh, one day after teeth bleaching uh, we prescribe the rocks medical mineral gel for uh, 40 days of daily use once per day the next situation, as a part of complex approach to the removal of teeth discoloration, uh, as preparation for a clinical wife, clinical bleaching, uh, we recommended uh, two weeks uh, up to white to bleaching procedure, uh, do the remineralization the remineralizing therapy immediately after the clinical bleaching procedure. Uh, preparing a patient for a bleaching procedure after the brace system removal. The application of uh, mineral gel once per day for uh, two months and then we use it, uh, we do the teeth bleaching. This prepare is very important for enamel. As a part of complex approach to the removal of dental discoloration, the most logical or uh, and effective uh, treatment plan for getting rid of this discoloration consists of the A, the first clinical, uh, the clinical bleaching procedure, B, uh, a clinical bleaching procedure carried out at home uh, 40 days after the clinical one, and then remineralizing therapy using, for example, the Ross mineral medical gel uh, after the end of uh, the bleaching course at home for uh, two or four days. Uh, for two uh, or four weeks, sorry. When carry out of microabrasion procedure in clinic, the first we we can use the, the medical sensitive gel with nitrate and potassium nitrate uh, per day for one month 
and then we used microabrasion. Or, or in a standard situation of normal situation, we used the first microabrasion and then uh, we used <coughs> for one month approximately uh, micro uh, remineralization, remineralizing therapy. Is there increase in sensitivity after uh, a dental uh, surgery in, one in dental uh, direct on indirect dental restoration? We can uh, use the application of Rox Medical Sensitive Gel in dentist office uh, immediately after procedure. If symptom persists 24 hours after the procedure, we prescribe the Rox Medical Minerals Gel for uh, two weeks daily, use uh, once per day. Uh, and then, as a part of complex approach to treating hyperplasia and fluorosis, we can use application of uh, mineral gel uh, sensitive with uh, potassium nitrate uh, once per day for one month and keep applying the gel afterwards until a satisfactory result is obtained. So, uh, in what age when we uh, can study the uh, remineralization therapy? For uh, from child uh, age, no problem. We we just have a special medical uh, rocks medical minerals for children, <coughs> suitable for any age, safe for small, with a, a more gentle formula, and with a, a strawberry test. Now we use for uh, increased remineralizing therapy in difficult cases, uh, chewing uh, vitamin, vitamin and mineral complex uh, chewing tablets. Uh, it's a course for 30 days, two tablets per day, swallow. And now we have uh, some scientific uh, researches with uh, uh, goodness of these tablets. And uh, for Indian criminalizing therapy, we recommend that use <coughs> some uh, application uh, for my mind amount uh, enough enough to application per day. Uh, some fluoride, uh, some fluorides uh, with a uh, uh, hyper concentration, approximately uh, 5,000 ppm. Now we have many gels uh, with uh, 500 ppm fluorides, rocks, colgate, free M, and other. Is more effective than the stable result of remote therapy. And we have some uh, mineral mouthwashes now. So, oh, thanks you, uh, thank you for uh, attention. Thank you for invitation me for this uh, webinar, and thanks you uh, our Rocks brand, uh, Russian brand, DRC Group in Russia, uh, who supported EADC, who supported this webinar, and uh, who's uh, provided, who's a manufacturer so beautiful uh, rocks medical minerals thank you for your attention thanks professor for the amazing uh lecture so far i enjoyed it so much and learned so much through it um we're now in the questions and answers phase so i'm just going to begin from the people who commented and sent me the questions either through youtube facebook or through my personal account. Uh, the first question is from Natalia from Slovakia. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she's wondering if, like, you mentioned about the using of chewing gums through the um, remineralization and how it benefits, but wouldn't it, her question is, like, wouldn't it also damage the TMJ to use the gums, like, so frequently? Uh, the questions, uh, why we use the chewing gum? Or about uh, some brands of chewing gum. Okay. Uh, there was a break in the sound. I couldn't hear what you were saying. Can you repeat, please? No, please repeat. Uh, 
Questions about uh, why we use chewing gum in the remineralizing uh, process? No, the question is like you mentioned to use the chewing gums and it will help the remineralization, right? Yeah. Her question is wouldn't this frequent use of chewing gum would damage the TMJ? Ah. Oh. I see, I see. Uh, it, it's not problem to TMG, absolutely. Uh, we recommend that use the uh, two or, uh, or three uh, chewing gum per day for uh, five, uh, seven minutes, no more. What the problem with TMG? And we uh, recommend that use the uh, chewing gum just in... Uh, this day when we use the uh, remineralizing syrup, uh, approximately two or uh, two or four weeks, no more. I don't okay. see it. I don't see the problem with TMG uh, after uh, I recommended uh, chewing gum for my patient with remineralizing syrup. Okay, so the maximum time of use of these gums would be. I recommend that I recommend that five ten minutes. Okay, okay, so I think she has her answer now. Um, okay, so the next point will be, uh, we have another question from Sina from Turkey. Uh -huh. um, he has a question whether, uh, like, the, um, he has meant, asked about the use of fluoride mm -hmm. and how frequent it should be used and should it be used for adults as well or not and how it would uh, benefit this remineralizing uh, about fluorides uh, in the process of uh, remineralizing syrup. Uh, we uh, we don't use uh, the uh, mineral complex with fluoride in remineralizing syrup uh, because many people have fluorosis, the first, and many people uh, live in endemic uh, region uh, for uh, fluoride. Uh, but but we can use the fluorides. We can use the fluorides after uh, remineralizing uh, remineralizing course because the fluorides is a uh, stable results, stable calcium in the enamel, and uh, we <coughs> and effective used just uh, fluorides with hyper concentrations. Now we have uh, many, many uh, gels with uh, uh, 5,000 uh, ppm of fluoride. And we used uh, just uh, two applications, one day and second day, two days application for uh, 30 minutes, uh, some gel with uh, uh, fluoride hyper concentration is enough. Thank you, Professor. I think uh, Sina has his answer now. Um, our next question is from Christina from Russia, Moscow. Mm. Uh, she has a question regarding the two space. And uh, like you introduced the two space of the uh, ROCS, right? Rocks. Rocks. Yeah. Okay. And it's like. Uh, is it uh, like we should use it frequently, like like like, or for a lifetime, or there's a limit? How can we know, like, uh, for how long can we use this two space? The first, I would like to answer to Christina. Then I uh, read my lecture in Russia, approximately five hours, uh, one time per uh, every every month in uh, dental webinar uh, point RU project. For example, uh, and then uh, what about uh, questions? What about rocks? Uh, uh, Prince, repeat. Uh, her question is like, how frequent uh, these toothpaste should be used, and for how long? Uh, white mint toothpaste. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's good questions. Uh, we very careful use this to this to to space. Uh, we used the bleaching toothpaste uh, just one month, uh, and uh, next uh, two or three months we have a break. We recommended take the break. Just one month and two or three months break. Um, and how, okay, so it's for, like for, for any uh, for any uh, bleaching toothpaste. 
Just so one month of use, frequent use, and then two months break, right? Yes. Okay, okay. And wouldn't it cause, that's my own question, wouldn't it cause any sensitivity to the tea? Sensitivity? Ah, yes. sensi sensitivity after bleaching uh, to space used? Yes. Uh, yes. If we have a, a bleaching toothpaste with a, a RDA more than 100, uh, you can see that this hypersensitivity in some patients. Uh, in this case, we stop it using this toothpaste and there are change uh, or a change on the toothpaste with low RDA, approximately 14, 15, no more. Thank you, Professor. And you personally recommend it? Leo from Peru has asked. Uh, recommended what? Sorry. These two spades. <laughs> my favorite two space drug sensitive. <laughs> it's my favorite two space many, many years. Uh, this one. Oh, this one. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Low RDA, approximately uh, 50, and uh, three very good effects, brightening, hypersensitivity, removing, and remineralizing. It's my favorite toothpaste many, many years, and uh, this uh, toothpaste favorite for uh, my family and my uh, friends and uh, all my patients. Wow. It's unique toothpaste, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you sure? Absolutely sure. <laughs> okay so thank you guys thank you thank you professor and uh, one last question uh can we also use these two space for kids uh two space for kids yeah uh two space for kids is not allowed in in, in my presentation about remineralizing therapy but i recommend the rock serum rock slime and uh, one more, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, send to my email after the lecture. Okay, okay. So uh, people, if you have any more, uh, can, you, can you go to your email again? Thank you. Uh, if you have mm -hmm. any more questions, you can access and contact Dr. Akolovich uh, through his email and ask your questions. Uh, we really enjoyed your webinar. Thanks for putting your time to us and uh, for your lovely presentation um, and thanks to all the viewers stay tuned with us for the next ideas webinars it's gonna start next year after taiwan congress which i'm sure is gonna be amazing as well hope to see you in taiwan but our next webinar is gonna be in september after our taiwan congress we enjoyed a really amazing year He's Thank you for invitation. Is what uh, it was a good experience for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and thank you as well, Professor. And thank you, listeners. Uh, have a good evening, good night, good morning, wherever in the world you are. Hope to see you soon, and bye bye. Thank you so much.